This Obsidian GraphView is blowing up on Reddit, one GraphView that no one knew was possible. But here's the thing, they didn't actually change the background image. However, I'm about to show you how to actually do it. And it's surprisingly simple. Stay for the next five minutes to find out how. Okay, so for the sake of the tutorial, we're actually in my Legacy Vault because it has quite the fascinating graph view. Don't judge the amount of connections, please. Okay, so for my approach to be easiest, I recommend first installing the style settings by going to the settings at the bottom left, then to community plugins, then onto browse, and then search for the style settings plugin, and actually install it, and enable it. You will see why just in a second. Okay, what we're now going to do is actually add a CSS snippet because these allow us things like adding a background image to the graph view. So we're gonna go again to the Obsidian settings, then click on appearance, then scroll down to the furthest bottom and actually find the section CSS snippets. As we can see, there are no CSS snippets found yet. So we're gonna click on the folder icon to actually open the source folder for the CSS snippets. Now to actually download the CSS snippet, you have two options, either by going on my public GitHub repository and download it from there, or if that's not an option because you're not familiar with GitHub or something, going on my template site with all the free templates, you could actually get it from there and it will be sent to your inbox. Now successfully doing the download should yield with a graphview-image.css file. This is the only file you need. And now I want you to remember that we opened the snippets file of our Obsidian Vault. So now we just drag that CSS file into the snippets folder. Exactly like that. And then back in Obsidian, like in its settings, when we go to the CSS snippets, we could click this refresh button and now this snippet should be shown. Now if we close these settings, we actually see that the snippet has been added, but there are still some things left to do. Now if we go back to the settings, and now scroll down to the community plugin style settings, which we just downloaded, we can actually extend the settings for this CSS snippet, like the graph view background, so we don't need to touch the source code, except if we want to change the background image, I'm just gonna show you how to do that in a bit. First, because the snippet is just a bit buggy, I recommend like going to the background position, then clicking on some other position and then again on center and also changing the cover and contain settings for a second to actually make this image display properly, like it's sort of buggy. And I mean, yeah, I find this image to be absolutely awesome, but maybe it's a bit too prominent. So let's go back to the settings because we actually have some options to like make that better. For example, we could decrease the opacity, which also apparently hasn't been like in the default mode of the image which for example makes it, yeah, more transparent. Another option obviously would be to just decrease the brightness and also for example, increase the blur. And now we got this, which is also very clean. And yeah, I'm actually gonna change the settings back because the most important thing obviously is how do you actually, we can click on these default settings, like how do you actually change the image itself? For this, you go back into the settings, then to appearance and to your snippets, also where you can, by the way, enable and disable the CSS snippet. Go back to the folder where the snippets are located and now you open the CSS file with the editor of your choice. Don't do it with your browser, that will probably render it wrongly, but any text editor or like optimally a coding IDE would do. For example, I'm just gonna use cursor. Now I have actually opened the snippet and as you can see, if you just scroll down to the bottom of this snippet, like in whatever kind of view you are, just scroll down to the bottom and don't be like discouraged by any weird stuff here. The only thing you're trying to find is this particular block where there's actually the URL and then an actual image URL like inside these parentheses and then the quotations here. You know, just grab the URL of any image you like, like from the internet, go into the CSS file, highlight the URL within the quotes, don't delete the quotes, and then paste your new link into it. Now going back to my vault, I can see that it actually applied the changes, but I'm still not a big fan of how it displays like this. So I'm gonna go back to the settings, then to the style settings, then extend the graph view background menu and increase the brightness, but like decrease the opacity and also make it a bit blurry. And I mean, yeah, your vault experience is greatly enhanced. Also, it's October and the community is building so many awesome features that you should try. For example, you can build an interactive map out of your notes. If you want to find out how, literally just click this video and I will see you there.